Hello everyone, Linksy here. And in the last episode, we built ourselves up a giant ship flying up in the sky. And with arguably the most difficult part of any ship, the sails out the way, I can focus a little bit more of my attention towards more of the finer details of the ship, such as the rigging, the ropes, the flags, and of course the interior and all the details of the ship. Speaking of details, this is probably one of my favorite views of my entire world over here, walking through the graveyard where you can see the backside of the castle, a little bit of the factory, the seed vault over here. And as we walk through here, you can kind of take in a little bit of the scenery with the floating islands and of course the boat. But this one particular spot in general is probably my favorite where you can take in the castle, the seed vault, the island. And as you walk through these trees, the boat slowly emerges. Isn't that nice? But before we head into today's episode, there's a bunch of materials that I'm going to have to gather because detail work gets tedious. So what better place to start with tedious than our own storage room itself, you know, because Minecraft needs a massive update when it comes to inventory and stuff like that. But I would like to get a couple of resources going a little bit of a box. Hold on. This shit's sky out of here. This place is an accidental slime farm, but I need to kind of grab all the little bits and bobs and everything like that that we're going to need in order to actually put all the detail into this boat. So I'm going to be in here just grabbing little bits of everything. So I have what I need to make things happen for today's episode. And while I'm running around my world trying to get everything together for today's episode, maybe check out my Wither Skeleton progress. And if you guys have been liking these episodes so far, maybe consider leaving a like on the episode and consider subscribing. And it looks like season two Kappa is... Yeah. Dude's in a bad mood. One thing I have been trying to keep up with lately is selling all of my iron blocks because the iron farm that we have been doing has actually been popping off lately. I'll actually show you guys that here in a moment, but having the auto crafter basically auto crafting a bunch of iron blocks, it saves us so much time and so much resources. It's been super nice. And for those of you guys who don't know, I don't use an actual raid farm, but I'm upwards to 1.6 million villager trades, which I think is pretty impressive on its own, which is why I continue to keep trading every single day. If I can get this up to 2 million, I'll be updating my board. Now it isn't much, but it's honest work. That's a lot of emeralds for somebody who doesn't have a raid farm. And for those of you guys who don't know why exactly I trade so much with traders is because they're invaluable when it comes to getting a bunch of building blocks in the game, masons, librarians, pork chops, campfires, you name it, can all be bought in through villagers, which of course help builds like this actually happen, actually happen and happen at a faster pace. But anyways, we got a lot of work to do today. So let's get making this deck of the ship look gorgeous. And to go alongside with us actually detailing the deck of the ship, I got ourselves some mushrooms. So I'm going to make some really cool like cages for the mushrooms to make it look like we we're transporting them over to the Masa. And in the meantime, I've been kind of just building up little piles of dirt and putting the mushrooms on top of here. I'm thinking that these things should spread. And these are supposed to be little mushroom trees that we kind of have tied down. And then I got to continue to keep putting down all these barrels and stuff because I think that these look absolutely spectacular. We're taking up a little bit more of the space around this area. So I'm going to continue on with that. And then we'll start figuring out how we want to do the cage. But I also have a really cool idea for the interior. So in here, the captain's quarters, I was thinking that we can have a big giant map of the entire Masa. So we'll have like the boat or the dojo, the dojo, I think, right? If I can do the dojo and I can work my way out with the Masa map, I think that'd be a really, really cool thing in here. So we can kind of like look at the world map almost. And then I also built a little bit of a mushroom cow on the other side here, which I think this guy turned out spectacular with like the little like horns. I might taper that in a little bit, but it is supposed to be like a little bit of a mushroom cow, which I love, love that guy. And like I said, for the maps, I was thinking about starting right here, the dojo. So put this right here so I can see exactly where I'm located. And then I'm going to be going three maps out. So each direction. So three, three, three and three so hopefully that's enough to kind of take it all in it's going to be quite a big expansion here but i think this should uh, i think this should look pretty dang good 
So let's go ahead and just start making some more of these maps. We now have a bit of a map board here. So you can see George's Ascension over here. The ocean, obviously. This is the dojo. The boat itself, although it doesn't really look that great on the on here. I think the island looks spectacular, though. So we'll be adding more islands. The Skulk Lands, surprisingly, was very dark. And the candles show up quite a bit. But I think that the actual skeleton of the Elder Dragon looks really, really cool. This completely threw me off. Didn't realize that the castle, and that is this castle over here, looks red. Because of all the nether brick fences that I used in order to do all the um, the rooftops up there. Uh, I really like the fog effects though. I think those turned out really nice. We have the factory over here. Although it kind of just blends in with the ground because there's so much foliage on the roof. And it works its way all the way back to the iron farm back here. Where we get a little bit of that in here. So not too bad. But that is the map room. So... Now we're going to continue on with doing more of the details for Maddie. And we're going to make like a little bit of an area for people to sit down, relax. And of course, we got to work our way out here and start working on like the, the steering wheel for the big ship. Making circles in Minecraft is going to be quite difficult, though. Speaking about difficult, redoing the entire deck of the ship and trying to light things up naturally was quite difficult. But check it out. I pretty much removed a bunch of sprues, added in a lot of podzel, coarse dirt, and a little bit of lichen, but this whole boat should now be 100% spawn proof, which is super nice. I think, I think. Don't quote me on that, but yeah. Uh, I also added in a little bit of uh, black wool underneath here to give it a, like more of like a shadow effect under there. But I'm really happy with the way this is all shaping up. I got these little mushroom trees being tied down. I thought that was kind of cute. And I'm breeding up some cows so I can put some more over here in this cow pen over here. But in terms of the ship kind of looking a little bit more mushroomy, I like the deck of the ship. Also really liking the map room here. I built up a little bit of these continents right here. So this is supposed to be the mushroom island. We got a little bit of a family with like some houses and the mushrooms that grow in the mushroom island. And on this side, I have the spruce right here. We got a little bit of a diglet castle. A little bit of a house back there and a small little Ewok as an Easter egg. And then in here, I got the other side of the pig here. I love the ears that I put in here. This guy looks like he's got little curly little ears. And this is where I might actually put the captain's quarters. Thinking like a little bit of a desk back here would be really cute. And then I want to put potential bunk beds and maybe like a dining table in here. I think that would turn out really nice. And then in here, this is probably going to be the most challenging part is the staircase that's going to go down into the hall of the ship here. Down here, like I said, mentioned before, we have the mushroom stem farm down here. And then I was thinking about also creating a mycelium floor or a podzel floor, whatever one looks better, probably podzel to be honest, but I don't have any podzel to do this, but I might actually grow like uh, red mushroom stems down here or just red mushrooms. That way I have a good flow of getting all of our brown mushrooms and our mushrooms itself then we'll have stems over here and then over here probably going to do all the red mushrooms as well so i think that'd be a good way to like fill up the interior of the ship in terms of the exterior of the ship i also really like the idea of having it kind of being an infected by the mushrooms so we might put in a little bit more detail into here i got an anchor that i think looks fantastic and i might put portholes on the side too i'm a little bit worried that maybe the portholes would be a little bit too low on the ship but that's kind of where we're at right now. Up here, though, I have no clue what I'm going to be putting up here. So I'm probably going to have to look at some references for whatever the heck goes up at the top of the ship. Because I don't think a whole lot of stuff does go up here. What I do know goes inside of the boat is going to be a mushroom storage and a little bit of a library up here. This is towards the back of the boat. I think it's I believe it's called the stern. So we have a little bit of a mushroom here, with a little bit of a blue sky. And this is where I'm going to keep all the mushrooms. So we have brown mushrooms. We have mushroom stem right here is where I'm going to keep all the corresponding mushrooms and then bone meal and then red mushrooms over there. And I love the way that this whole area turned out down here. This is where I'm going to be farming up the red mushrooms and the mushroom stems and the brown mushrooms. Clearly, I got to do a lot of more work on here on the side just to kind of clean this up a little bit more. But so far, I'm really enjoying the way that this is all turning out. 
now I've got a proper space to store up all of my mushrooms. And speaking of storage rooms, look at this whole shulker monster right here. I started off so flipping good. I had everything all nicely organized with item frames and stuff like that. And then this mess happened. So now it's been becoming more and more impossible to find whatever the heck I got to find. So might have to do a quick little reset going on there. Once we're done the boat, and we start transitioning back over to the islands here and to touch on the islands a little bit i'm not 100 percent happy with the way everything's placed out so there's probably going to be quite a bit of movement right here i like where that island is specifically i'm thinking about maybe like raising it up and putting it in this like little area over here i like where that island's located i need to get rid of my pallet up there but you're probably going to see some movement with all the islands pretty soon here and we're one step closer to getting into the island part of this build. I got the hull of the ship in here a little bit way more clean. I'm going to light it up and put a bunch of torches in here and stuff. This is where I'm going to be farming up the red mushrooms. And I got these little windows to look out at the Masa, which I think is a nice touch. Obviously, this right here, this is the elephant in the room. This thing's looking super ugly. Couldn't look more ugly, to be honest. Probably got to repair up a, or replace a lot of these blocks just to make it look a little bit nicer. And then probably end the hull of the ship back here. And then probably just like kind of cut it out. Do like a whole wall. I say probably one more time in this flipping segment. I'm going to lose my mind. But anyways, I'm going to get back into this. Speaking about lamps, I'm completely out of lamps. This boat's been taking up way more lamps than I ever predicted. So going to be buying some lamps from these guys. For lighting up the hull of the ship, I was thinking maybe I bring it down a little bit with the stairs. So there's a little bit of an overlap. And then I put the walls right here. Fence post up top because I'm going through a little bit of a fence post. Flower pots. I'm going through a little bit of a flower pot phase. I'm like absolutely in love with flower pots and the way they look. And then putting our lamps like that. I think that would be a really nice way to pretty much light up the hull of the ship. I want to formally apologize. Today is obviously not a day that I can word. I appreciate you being patient with me. But I got all my lights done. Check it out. Uh, I'm going to do some lighting up top. And then I'm going to see if the mushrooms can actually grow inside of this whole section. I think they should. But I'm thinking if I put some lamps. um, I'm not sure exactly where I want to put the lamps up here. We'll figure that out, but I want to make sure that when I do grow the mushrooms, that the lamps up top, make sure that the mushrooms on top are fully lit so I don't have any creeper surprises falling on my head because that's not a good time. Change of plans. I'm going with shroom lights. Make like a nice little warm glow here in the middle. It's going to look really nice. And then, of course, trap doors going all the way around them. Like that. I think that looks really nice. Really clean. I love like the circular bit in the middle of mangrove trap doors. I think they look fantastic. Well, that definitely brightens up the whole hall of the ship. I think that looks fantastic. I was thinking over here. Do I want to go with slabs? Do I want to go with stairs? Or do I want to go like slabs and stairs? Hmm maybe slabs i think i'm gonna go with slabs then i think i'm gonna be placing in the stairs up here kind of making it look like it holds the hull of the ship up a little bit better maybe we'll put something in the middle there but i think i like the shape of these little like window areas at this point i think we're pretty much done here besides this monstrosity we'll work our way over there it's the real moment of truth time can i bone meal these Oh, that's nice. Ooh, that was close. Hopefully none of these like actually break any of my building. I don't know if mushrooms can replace blocks. I know that they can replace like the end gateway. It looks like we're pretty good. And I want to see what the top of these mushrooms look like. That was pretty high. Perfect. That's perfect. I want to make sure that the top of the mushrooms are properly lit up. So I don't have mobs far, uh, spawning on here. Bam. Bet you didn't know I had a farm back there. And an ugly one too. Just wanted to make it look like a bunch of crates. I pretty much did a uh, like a fake facade that I could just fly right past. Like if I kind of go in through here, this is actually the whole farm back here. We, we don't look back here. You know what I mean? This is uh, all behind the, uh, you know, behind the scenes. Nobody's going to know this is all back here. 
a little bit of a facade makes this room look nice well i think that means that whole section in there is completely done time to work our way up to this section up here where i want to build the captain quarters and maybe even like a sleeping area but i think we could start off with doing the desk back here and i would like to do a little bit of a mushroom carpet right here as a nice focal point also look at this pig speaking of cute i added three new cows to the legacy here added the mushroom and the two moo blooms looking at the center mushroom i thought these guys turned out absolutely beautiful love them uh added in the captain quarters desk so maddie could just sit here and look back at our entire family a couple little dining tables on each side here and some bunk beds but i want to say that pretty much concludes the entire boat i think looking at it now i don't know if there's anything more i would like to add i think the entire boat the entire interior the exterior everything is absolutely gorgeous which means that i can direct my attention towards the floating islands here as you guys can see i've already started up a floating island over here with a little bit of a story to it and if we look at the islands from over here you'll see that i've actually adjusted where some of the islands are located to put a little bit more emphasis on the boat i didn't want to have any of the islands overlapping with one another and obstructing any other views this one i'm going to have like the the ground basically falling off of the island with a little bit of a tree kind of just barely hanging on and then a bigger tree up there so this one's gonna have a lot more tree action going on and then i've got a lot of these other islands that i would like to build up over time we'll see how things develop I want to make sure that no matter what happens that it's not a it's not a little bit too much and if i want to add more islands in the future i'm totally down for that too but i definitely want to have like some islands cascading waterfalls on the other islands i want to connect rope bridges between them giant vines hanging down and this island over here this one right here behind the tree yeah i had to walk all the way over here uh this one's actually fairly low down which i think is going to be a nice little pop of color and have a little bit of a closer island view and as we look over towards our seed vault over there i think it'll be a really cool view to kind of take in and also from down here as well want to make sure that i'm not covering like where the castle is in the background and i'm trying not to obstruct any views here so it's carefully coordinating all the islands in the entire area I feel like I'm just going to be kind of like a work in progress. And these are going to take quite some time to build up. Speaking about time, though, I think that's about all the time that we have for today's episode. I hope you guys have been enjoying the entire boat build, getting the entire interior done and the exterior done, and building up all the islands as we go. I've got a bunch more episodes planned for you guys in the future. Our next episode will probably be the Wither Skelly Farm. And then I'll be hopefully finalizing this entire build and putting it into a movie for you guys. Let me know if you guys like the episode and what you guys like most about these Ascension series. Because I've been quite enjoying it. And if you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you. And I hope you guys all have yourself a great night.